All characters appearing in this work are living birds and animals. However, any resemblance to real persons, living, dead or undead, is purely coincidental. Further, no birds or animals were disturbed or hurt during the making of this video. It was raining continuously during monsoon here. The mountain looks stunning on rare sunny days. Nature has given us a very narrow window for the life to thrive. We humans want to save the earth, of course after we save ourselves from this tiny virus first. This was a giant rain tree which stood tall for many years in front of our balcony. You may recall our hornbills sitting on it in my last video. Now it is not as obese as it was before. Not any aerobics, we humans trimmed it for the fear of falling on our heads. Are we saving the earth or making it a convenient place for us? If the earth doesn't want us, it can get rid of it in a moment. Earth will still survive, we won't. Is there a solution? Can we save the nature with what is given by the nature? Yes, we can. Watch till the end, The Uninvited, Part 2. Dawn breaks every day here too, like in every place. But we wake up to the calls of these common miners. We don't need to set a wake up alarm. They are extremely vocal, mimics other birds, and makes a tremendous variety of gurgles, whistles, grating or liquid notes. Their nest's quite messy and probe for food in soil, but with a wide variety of menu. Fruits, grain, insects, grubs, kitchen scraps, bird eggs, baby mice, frogs, lizards, crabs, flower nectar etc. Having waken up by these birds, I decide to practice a bit piano and start metronome. But another metronome beats coming from outside with a different tempo invites me to pick up the camera. My co-musician is a coppersmith barber. Call is similar to a coppersmith striking metal with a hammer. Hence this name. We see them sunning in the morning. Remember our red vented bulbuls and rose ringed parakeets appeared in part 1? They have been seen to indulge in robbing coppersmith's food and berries brought to the nest. They make their home on dead wood branches. Next time when we cut down a dead branch, remember it could be a home for a coppersmith family. Now I get a loud scream from kitchen. Smida has spotted a bird. At times she is excited so much, scares both of us, the birds and me. It was worth running. I never have seen such a bird in my life. In my excitement, I did a grave irreversible mistake, many won't do. Press record button while setting up the shot and released it for the main shot and missed it. I could never spot it again till today. Hoopos are notable for their distinctive crown. This one showed off, which I gravely missed. They were considered sacred in ancient Egypt and were depicted on the walls of tombs and temples. In distress, I turned my camera to a family who is our neighbors. I had been spying them right from their marriage. Seven, Seven months, months before. before. These are small Indian kites, well adapted for city life. They usually glide up above the city in thermals. Still many of them are victims of mercury poisoning and electrocution. Swooping habit to pick up rodents many times cause collision with ongoing traffic and mortality. Encroachment by humans are very regular in birds space. I saw the couple very happy with one kid. 
However, he grew up and left them eventually. Currently they abandoned the old residence and moved to a new one in the same building. I mean tree. It is a bit more luxurious this time with cotton bed and all. They still keep a good friendship with us. When I followed him to the other side of my flat, this is what I saw. This squirrel has been vocal too much on my less coverage of animals. This time he started showing some acrobatics to attract attention of my camera. He can't digest cellulose. Nuts he buried have sprouted. Poor fellow now has to eat buds and seeds of this tree. Now this is the time for the best acrobats I ever have seen. They come with family. Nowadays they keep a watch of Corona safe online grocery and vegetable delivery. Non-contact deliveries by keeping box outside, ringing doorbell and going away. It is a clear indication for these raiders where the food is. All items are on the tree before the online customer with all consumer rights opens the door. These acrobats do come inside via telephone and TV cables though they can't transform as electromagnetic waves. I do have my guardian angel, at times she mistakenly ignored them inside thinking my biological children are in kitchen. Many of us think they are a nuisance. However we have seen how they can be made to do some work. If you have not watched that video, please use the link in the description. Am I seeing a yellow fellow hiding behind? Yes. This must be an Indian golden oriole male. The male has the black eye stripes extending behind the eye. These streaks on the underside says this is a female Indian golden oriole. Meanwhile I witnessed sand bathing of these sparrows. They are probably getting rid of parasites from their body. Then this greater kukul came a hurriedly like a police officer, checking whether everything is alright here. Once found okay, he did sun bath also. Look at this beautiful symbol of peace. Humans make them into many pieces in Sudanese and Indonesian cuisines. It is ironical that millions of Save Earth posters are printed on paper which contributes for deforestation. How do we then save Earth?
nature has given us the ultimate weapon that is love. Just love the nature like your mother. Or like this mother does. Love the plants and birds like your children. Killing and eating are in animal kingdom too, but for survival and bare necessities. When we do anything for our greed, we encroach into others' spaces. And we become the uninvited. However, it is Mother Nature. Whatever we do to her, she knows only to take care of us and pardon us.